All right, all right. <clears throat> I think you all know the drill by now, so welcome everyone to another discussion about the summer anime. Now, we're going to be talking about Prima Doll, as you can see here. <clears throat> this was that one with the android girls that had those uh, backpack things. <clears throat> Apparently the backpacks are removable, so that's uh, interesting. Anyway, it's two episodes in, and I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. I'm still not getting an exact vibe of what the show is going to be about. I mean, the, the synopsis says there's a cafe located in the Imperial Capital's Fifth Ward. Girls who work there are autonomous mechanical dolls known as automata. They were originally created as weapons for a great war that ended a few years ago, and now they're looking for new roles in a peaceful world. Like, it says that, and it centers around this girl with the pink hair who, uh, is named Aizakura. And she's like a... Uh, it seems like she is a brand new automata that uh, the owner of the cafe created. Like, she has not served in the war. She was just something that he built or something like that, from what I understand from the first two episodes. <clears throat> but there's other automata around. Uh, there's three other main ones in the cafe... And they all have their own little thing. One of them can't speak. One of them's pretty expressionless. And the other one, I don't know. She seems okay. But I'm expecting we'll figure out what's wrong with her in the future. There's also this uh, like gray-haired one, which has not made an appearance yet. But uh, she's my favorite already, just from her like design. I like that. Just from looking at the uh, cover art and stuff. But anyway, I, I have not really gotten a good feel for exactly what the show is about. The first couple of episodes are just uh, Aizakura waking up and finding out she's an automata, finding out what automata are, uh, becoming part of the cafe. And the second episode's a little bit similar to that. Uh, they kind of go around the town looking for eggs to buy, and then there's some other stuff. There's also flashbacks and <clears throat> um, like combat like, fighting with, like, guns and stuff, like, uh, in the military. Some flashbacks for that stuff. And, yeah, I just, I don't really know how to place it. The genre is sci-fi and slice of life. So I'm expecting it's going to be just, you know, the girls messing around doing stuff. But, I don't know. I'm not really hooked into it yet. Like, I haven't found something that's like, man, this is going to be a great show. Or, yeah, this will... You know, I, I want to watch this until completion. You know what I mean? It's just kind of there. It's just kind of another show this season. Nothing really has stood out. Um, so yeah, I don't really have much else to say about it because there's not a whole lot that I can say about Slice of Life shows, as you know. Uh, the uh, screens... Screens. <clears throat> the graphics are cute in all this. So it's not bad. Like, the girls are cute, don't get me wrong. But, as I said in the promotional video uh, review we were talking about, where I was like, man, these, uh... It looks like this show is made to sell, like, accessories. Like, the backpacks. And I still feel like that is a thing, because they come off, too. Uh, so, I don't know if they're just, like, supplemental supplies, or, like, energy for the automata or if they do something in in one case the uh, the blonde automata the lowly one she apparently can fly with her backpack so it's like a jetpack the other ones i don't think can do that so it's weird i don't know if maybe it's suited to specifically what they were tasked with because she was a scout and maybe the other ones have like maybe they can like sprout arms from the backpack and just like do multiple things because they were an engineer or something i don't know I don't know. It, it's interesting. It seems like it's definitely made to push merch, though. You know? It, it feels like, buy this backpack, and it'll be cool and stuff like that. You know? Kind of like what Magical Girl things are, where um, you have, like, a Precure, where they have all the, the fancy, like, they have, like, compacts or magic wands that the fans can buy, and then they make the noises and stuff like that. It seems kind of like that with the backpacks and stuff. Um... But yeah, I like the designs. It's cute. Uh, that's all I got. All I got. All right, well, 
we'll see if I continue this one or not. I'll probably give it a couple more episodes to at least get a feel for if there is going to be some action stuff happening in it uh, and see how it goes. But for now, I, I can't really say either way if I will or will not watch it. Yep. All right. Until next time, everyone. Bye for now.